first, I have a quick observation, and then I have a question for Ahmed. And thank you for staying up so late, or maybe so early. Um, I think part of the challenge that we face in this country is, unlike in Egypt, the goals were very clear, as we heard from the screening. The people demand the fall of the regime, and they accomplished that. And they're moving toward creating a better Egypt. And we commend all of them, people that risked their lives, people that lost their lives, people that lost loved ones. We salute Egypt and all Egyptians. But here, the challenges are different. We have a huge, powerful, hegemonic government. We have a country where extreme monopoly capital exercises its influence in every nook and cranny of society within the United States and overseas. So the question we need to ask ourselves honestly, how far are we willing to go? Are we actually challenging monopoly capital? Or are we just pricking with a needle on a huge concrete slab? What is it that we really want? Because if we are serious, it seems to me, we have to come up with some concrete goals. For example, why don't we target 10 of the worst banks with the worst policies, mortgage policies, extortionate policies, and say, let's collectively avoid these banks and maybe shift our money to community-based banks. We can do that. We have an esteemed officer of the law who, at great personal risk, decided to come to the Occupy Wall Street movement. I'm sure he's in a position to lead reform of police departments in this country. We have issues of police brutality that is rarely talked about. I'm sure this is not a brutal police officer. He would not risk his career and what he accomplished while he was in the service to come to Occupy Movement. So these are some select country goals that we can select and say, let's target it and let's do it. And then we'll start seeing some changes in this country. But so long as we keep, they keep us confused, because look, at the end of the day, what happened? Mayor Bloomberg did exactly what was done on Tahir Square. They sent the thugs, and they tried to shut them down, but at least they came back. But here in New York, what did Bloomberg do? He sent his own thugs, they shut down uh, uh, Zuccotti Park, and that was the end of it. And yet we know that the feeling that brought people to Zuccotti Park is still there. So we need to harness it and select even 10 or the 23 goals that you said uh, was announced. How many people in this room know about those goals? So let's select those goals, the ones that are accomplished, and let's start working toward it. And for Ahmed, sorry for keeping you up so late. My question to you is, based on the experience that you learned during the struggle at Tahir Square, what do you think could be done differently, number one? And then number two, going forward, what is the best solution for Egypt? If you have one man, one vote, is there a possibility that you'll end up with forces that are not progressive and pro-democracy? Thank you for staying up so late. Thank you. Let me just try to translate. Thank you. That was very, uh, very well, well yeah. put. Let's give an applause to that because. <laughs> Your boy is a strong man. He's one day his leader. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he's very, you know, very firm. And I, I think what, what, what he was reflecting is, is, is incredible, but I'll let Ahmed answer it. Uh, First of all, tell him he said thank you for saying that. First of all, he said thank you for <تصفيق> غير كذا كان عايز يعرف يعني بيقول إن في مصر بالنسبة لك في مصر. طيب. أوكي. السؤال الأولاني هو السؤال أنا عايز أسأله بسؤال هل أنت مؤمن إنك ثائر ولا سياسي؟ <تصفيق> هو ده الفهم. Okay. He says for your first question about how to make change in America uh, and how to unify uh, the, 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 the goals, he says you have to ask yourself a question first. Are you revolutionary or are you a politician? So that's his question to you, uh, sir. Yes. <laughs> that's the first question. Yes, the first distinguishment you have to make. Well, by then? 
بعدين لو انت سائر انت هتعرف طريقك فين وهتاخد قرارك ومبادئك الشعب يريد اسقاط النظام ما جاوبوا على سؤال احنا لما كنا صوار وشعب مصر كله نزل كان ايد واحده كان ايد واحده عشان كنا صوار طيب ثانية 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 If you choose to be a revolutionary, then the path will find you, and you'll 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 find the right way of the the right course of action because you'll be following your principles, and you won't change those principles. And when he's like, you know, as Egyptians, when we were united, we were united because we all stood for one principle, and that's what brought us together. And it wasn't about any one person; it was about that principle, and that principle was the people demand the removal of the regime, and that was Mubarak. So that's part one. <laughs> الثورة عبارة عن منح يا كريم، تعالى ثاني منح. الثورة عبارة عن منح إن الصور طول عمرهم إيد واحدة، ما بيتفرقوش، إنما السياسيين بيتفرقوا عشان المصلحة الشخصية، عشان مصلحة Uh, so he, he says that w when you just when you ask yourself whether you know with what the the gentleman was saying how far are you willing you to go that'll be determined in establishing whether you believe in, in in yourself as being able to be a revolutionary or being a politician and he said that what what happened over the course of the last two years in Egypt is um, that question acted as a filter between who was willing to commit to revolution and who wasn't. And even when the revolution was weak and didn't have the support it needed, and many people who were with the revolution initially betrayed it, like the Muslim Brotherhood and other groups, the revolutionaries who stuck to their principles were able to prevail in the end. And they did the unbelievable. They toppled the military dictatorship, which no one ever thought they could have done. And when they did that, everyone else rallied again, around them again. And so the, 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 the course to success, in his opinion, is the continuance of that pursuit, that pursuit of the truth that you know inside of you, which is your ability to change. Uh, and as long as you stay true to that, you will find a path, uh, and, and that will be the uniting path that leads to change in your country. But he also asked about what, what would you do differently, right? Well, you asked yeah. what, he asked what would he do differently in Egypt. Did you ask him that? He said, he what asked, would, he asked Ahmed, what would he do differently if he was to uh, لو كان عندك أي حاجة أحمد ممكن تعملها uh, uh, يعني <laughs> talk in the street, okay, okay, talk yeah, in the streets, yeah. talk in the metro, talk to your cab driver, knock on doors, scream. Like, stand in a square and scream square. And, and, and let the truth come out. And and he's like, that's how we started. We just it started as a, as as a screech for for help and eventually people will come to you. You just have to keep going and going and going. If you speak from your if you speak heart, from heart it will reach the hearts of others. And, and include everybody. everybody, and talk to everybody, everybody. include yeah. everybody. That's his main thing. And keep on the ground. Yeah. He says, And the key to any successful movement ever has always been its ability to be on the ground. And what he means by being on the ground is being in touch with people. Speak in simple language. Don't speak political talk. Avoid screens. Get, stop watching television. Go down on the streets and write on pieces of paper. Write simple things about simple problems that every person can relate to. Don't talk in big political change language that nobody can relate to. Be common and accept people around you and, and, and incorporate them. ماشي and he says the key is stick together you know everybody who believes in change stick together despite your differences and 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 be united and 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 and, and make each other stronger as you stick together he says I, i don't know the the details of what your struggle is in america but i know one thing and that's that people are people no matter where they're from and if you stick together you can be united for a change